All right, guys, welcome back. To get us started, we're gonna go ahead and use TFENV. I've already gone ahead and use, uh, installed TFENV. What TFENV does is like basically like RVN, RBENV or PyENV. Um, it allows the users to switch between different versions of Terraform at will, depending on which version is required for specific rep repositories. You may need this because some of your Terraform repositories, depending on where you work, require a much older version of Terraform or a much newer version of Terraform. And you need to alternate between the two um, or between multiple versions of Terraform, depending on what your needs are. So this allows you, you the user, to be able to switch between different versions of Terraform without having to uh, do sim linking or any of that nonsense. So I'm going to go ahead and put in this page in the description of this video, and I'd like to go ahead and, if you could, go ahead and install it. I'm on a Mac, so I used Brew to install it. There are other methods, methods to install it, so go, go ahead and install this. And if you cannot install it because of some OS-specific requirement, um, stick to the latest version for this course, which is 0.11.7 at the time of this making this video, and we should be able to go on our, on our way, at least for as far as learning Terraform goes. So if you're not able to install it, no big deal. Just get 0.11.7. You should be able to install that, no problem, because it's based on Go, and everything works with Go and, and all that other nonsense. Um, but if you can install it, great. Make good use of it, and then it'll it, wherever you work, um, if you're using Terraform, at least different versions of Terraform, it'll definitely help you. Um, so with that said, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and first build out the core of the PC. Now, as you can see on my uh, right pane here, I've got some notes as to what to go over, and I'll be basically checking them over um, as I go ahead and do, the, do these videos. We won't be doing them all at once, so you may see them in the future or now or like, you know whenever it may come. Um, so... That way, I can go ahead and make sure I've got every every one of my providers, uh, every one of my um, uh, points checked. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and create the core VPC. Now I only need one core VPC, so it's going to be a little different from the application VPC. When I get to the application VPC, I'm going to be using Terraform modules, and when I basically the application VPC, I may need more than one application VPC depending on the application or region or or whatever it is, you know, let's say I have like a multi-region application and I want to be able to uh, deploy it in eight different regions. So um, basically what we're going to do is that we're going to go ahead and set up the skeleton for the application VPC when we get to that point, And then we're just going to be calling that same skeleton structure as many times as we need it. All right, so in this core folder I've got set up here, what I'm going to do is create a new file, and I'm going to name it, uh, I will name this either main or provider.tf. I'm going to go ahead and do a main.tf. And what I'm going to be doing here is I'm going to be doing provider, oops, provider is AWS. And with the provider, you also have to provide the region. Mm. All right, so let me explain this for a bit. So if you're gonna be using Amazon Web Services with your Terraform, you have to specify the provider. I mean, regardless of whatever you're gonna be using, to be honest, you're gonna ha you have to specify a provider. It's how Terraform connects to whatever you're trying to do. Um, so in my case, I'm gonna be using providers Amazon Web Services. It's gonna go ahead and look at my .AWS credentials, which I already have locally in the system, and then go ahead and try and connect. So. I don't need to go ahead and pass credentials to Terraform to, for everybody to connect to my AWS instances, or sorry, to my AWS uh, account. If I wanted to provide uh, secret and access keys into Terraform directly, I can do uh, AWS secret key is equal to whatever it is, or it could be a variable, so it's hidden, um, and then Likewise, is that there's also the AWS access key is equal to something, some variable here. All right, so let me explain this other uh, thing that I've got here, this local region. This is where it gets a little tricky. So the, these, this here, this isn't an actual variable. This is just some static value. So when I try to um, basically total this out, it will be 
some static value. And actually I'm getting an error here. Let me go ahead and make sure that I've got this key name right. So let's go ahead and go to the Terraform documentations. Uh, and we will take a look at the provider, which in our case is AWS. So this is the provider. Oh, it's just access key and secret key. That's what it was. So let's go ahead and get rid of the AWS and go from there, secret key. Uh, and that'll go ahead and get rid of that error specifically. So what this will do is that it'll connect to AWS and the Terraform plugin actually auto formats things. So there's that. Uh, I also wanted to go ahead and change my indent spaces to two because that's what Terraform requires. Anyways, so going back, what this will do is that it's going to go ahead and use the secret and access key in that you provide directly to the provider to create the resources. Now, this is just to create the resources. This isn't to create to keep the state file. And that's different. And I'll explain that why it's a little, a little later. This is just to go into AWS and create the resources. And you can have multiple providers. And I'll explain that in a little bit too. Um, so let's say like, for example, you have if you don't have the secret, sorry, if you don't have the secrets and access keys, Terraform by default will look into your home folder. Given that you're in a Unix system, it'll go into your home folder dot um, uh, folder and credentials file, then it'll see it'll try and take out the default credentials from there. If you have it in any other profile, you have to specify the profile here, rather than um, the default one. So profile is equal to my AWS profile if I have it anywhere else. Um, so since I've got it in default in that .AWS credentials file, I'm going to go ahead and remove this and that way I don't have to ever deal with it again. Um, so Terraform will automatically assume that it's, my, it's in my .AWS slash credentials default profile and I don't have to provide the um, credentials here. Now there can be reasons why you may want to provide credentials for whatever re uh, for whatever the case may be. Um, just for this course, I'm not going to be doing that because I don't want to be showing my secret and access key in this video, which is obviously the case. Um, but again, the documentation is here. I will go ahead and provide that in the documents, and um, so you guys can take a look at that if you want. All right, so that's my provider. And let me go ahead and explain this local region. So the first things first is that whenever you want to interpolate something in Terraform, you have to have, have to have everything in quotes, regardless of whether it's static or dynamic variable and so on. It has to be in quotes. But if it's dynamic and it's a variable, especially if it's a local, local variables are dynamic compared to uh, just regular variables, which are static. If it's a local variable, then it's going to be local dot region, local dot whatever the variable name is. Now we haven't actually created the variable region, so we're going to go ahead and do that now. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to be I'm going to be creating this locals underscore main file, locals main tf, right? So I'm going to be creating a block called locals with an s. Keep that in mind. So region is equal to uh, far dot region. So I can't spell right. And var dot region is going to be a type map. So if it's a map, I actually want to look up. So I could do var dot region and then the actual key of whatever it is, since it's a type map, just like a regular regular programming languages of so JavaScript, Groovy, Python. One, pick your pick your uh, pick your poison there. But I'm going to be using a function called lookup, right? So the map is. Oh, I actually got a little definition of it. So it's going to be map and then key and then the default. So lookup var dot region. Now this is a different type of this is different from local dot region. And the key I'm going to be looking up is let's say it's going to be the workspace name. And that's this is where it gets very um, difficult to follow. And the default is going to be let's say US East one. 
Okay. Now I will explain the workspace in just a little bit. Okay. I have to actually explain backends first before I explain the workspace. But basically what's going to happen is that local.region is going to look up a variable called vo variable called region, which is a static variable, not a dynamic variable like region, like locals uh, variable. It's going to be looking up in this direct in this variable, which is it's going to be a type map. We haven't created it yet. Um, and then it's going to be looking up the key, which is a dynamic value of the workspace name. This gets interpolated into whatever we put in. So this isn't the actual name. We could say that, you know, my rails app is the key, right? My rails app is a key, but however, I'm going to be using workspaces. So I need to change, I need to keep this as Terraform workspaces. So if I had, let me give you a good example here. So let's say I'm using terraform.tfr. So now I've got region is equal to a map of my Rails app is equal to, um, excuse me, US East one. So now what it will do is that it's going to look up var.region. Oops, that's not how that works, by the way. There's one more thing before it actually does that. Uh, All right, so whenever you create a variables file, remember that the extension is TF vars rather than just .tf, okay? Now, just because you, you create the variable in the .tf vars file, it's not instantiated unless you do this variable block in a regular .tf file. So what I did was I created a, a variables.tf, which I'm gonna be placing all of my variables and I'll separate them as need be. I create the variable, the, its region, the type is equal to map. Now, if I didn't put this type is equal to map, it's, it defaults the type is equal to string. So Terraform supports map, string, and list. List is an array, if you don't know. Um, so this is a map, and I've got my map here. So going back to this, it's going to go ahead and... Get, so this locals.region is going to look up var.region, which is in this TF vars guy. It's gonna look up the key my rails app, which is this guy here. And it's gonna be, it's gonna get uh, total into US East one. So this will total into US East one here. Now let's say I didn't have my rails app key there. If I didn't have it, it would default into US East one. So that way it's sort of foolproof. And then, you know, it gets that else clause in there automatically in sort of one line. Um, so, but instead of using my Rails app, I'm going to be using Terraform Workspaces again. I'll explain that later, um, so that you can f that you're basically on track on as to how variables work. I don't want to get convoluted with Terraform Workspaces at the moment right now. Um, so, that being said, that populates the local dot region, and my provider is good to go. I don't know why it's highlighting them in red like that. That's a little weird. Okay. So that now that I've got my provider going, I need to go ahead and I've got my TF vars, my static variable, at least for the region in there. I've got my variables to instantiate them. I've got the locals main to get this started. Now I need to go ahead and create some actual resources. So I'm going to be creating the VPC and I'm going to be doing that in the next video. So at least to keep the video short. So I'll see you guys then. Bye.